And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fiora Garen. That's going to be our next deck today. We played this deck just a couple of days ago and it was really good. Demacia is just a very reliable. And I've always done very well with Demacia decks. There's right up my alley, my kind of play style and everything. So we're going to play the same deck because it's rank up Sunday. This is where this is the stream where we kind of replay some of the decks that we've done well with over the last week. Um, and that's that's what we're gonna do. So let's play some Fiora Garen. Nothing too nothing too fancy about this. We're splashing Targon mostly because of Pale Cascade. Pale Cascade just being awesome and drawing cards, replacing itself. We also just got a couple more one drops with the Solari Soldiers that are upgrades over the Scythria. If we have our we have Bannerman in here, of course. If we have Bannerman hit Solari Soldier too much, maybe we'll replace those with Scythrias, but I definitely like Solari Soldier more than Scythria, and with it only being five Targon cards, I think that's still okay for Bannerman, but that it will be definitely a big feels bad if we miss it. We haven't missed the Bannerman ability yet playing it, just the last time that we played it. Um, yeah, nothing else really about the deck. Let's just go straight to it. We're playing another Demacia Targon deck with Leona and Lux. Theirs is probably slightly different than ours. Probably. So it's... Yeah, this is just going to be a good hand. Um, Alright, so Genevieve Elmhart, great card. I'm going to mulligan it just because it costs 6 mana. Concerted Strike, also great card. I'm going to keep Concerted Strike, though. This is going to be a deck with, like, Dragons and Lux. I think Concerted Strike is going to be an important spell to have me trade up. I love keeping the Solari Soldiers, not only because they're one-drops, but also because it means that they're not going to miss Bannerman abilities later. So that is also good for me. Ooh. Probably War Chefs. Yeah, it's probably War Chefs. Cool. Because, yeah, we couldn't, couldn't attack through Shield Bearer anyway. So we get to just save this Solari Soldier. Ten foes, you tell me. All right, so I'm just taking taking the damage. Yeah, we're just gonna take the damage. We march. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Daylight breaks on the back. No, that sounds my Fiora. Oh, that hurts. That hurts with the stunning of the Fiora. All right, we'll pass. We don't need to use this Bright Steel Protector anymore. But good thing I didn't just go Protector and then they stun Fiora. That's good. Wow, just have it all. Why not? Just have it all. So we at least got Leona out of here. Um, certainly hoping they don't have another Leona. Oh yeah, I did the wrong order, so Fiora didn't get the kill. Yeah, that's my bad. With me. I mean, they want to do like their own like pale cascades and stuff like that. These woods belong to us. Potentially. I don't think that's how I win, though, of, of um, trading there. The dawn has arrived. May it never leave. That's the second time. The 
Yeah, my Fiora's just not gonna kill anything. Okay, well, I, I am really bad at Fiora Concerted Strike. It's just so natural to click the Fiora first. I'm sorry. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. We don't know how the game would have changed if I would have had the Concerted Strike with the Fiora, you know, like what they would have had to to keep my Fiora from leveling up and stuff, you know, like what they would have been doing. We don't know exactly how this game would have changed. But we can certainly, you know, like the, the game would have changed some, some way, somehow. Yeah, I messed up two concerted strikes. I should have had two, like, Fiora could have four kills right now. Fiora very easily could have four kills. A single player game, Kordak, to recommend? I would recommend The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild if you have, if you have a Switch. That is one of my favorite games. If we draw Pill Cascade, I may need to play the Warshafts first, so I didn't play it right there. challenge and kill the 4-5 anyway, so basically we just traded single combats. Repost is probably my best draw. Or back-to-back. Ooh, we're playing back to back. That'd be a good one. Garen's not bad. Really, we need card draw. Like they're they're just they're just drowning us out in cards. I needed to. I mean, I messed up my concerted strikes. Obviously, like that's that's what I did. Is I messed up concerted strikes. Get some cheaper units in here or not. We'll get some five drops. They are good five drops. No they are powerful five drops. 
They'll never see it coming. But I was definitely looking for something that cost one or two mana. Any of those, like, 11 cards that we have. That we'll start drawing in the late game now. <laughs> you know, like, after turn two, that's when we'll start drawing them. I am as well, Tumble Dog. I'm, I'm, I am really fascinated to see what's gonna, you know, what they're gonna do with uh, changes and any and everything because they they have so many options. Um, I could really see, you know, I could see basically anything happening. So yeah, that's gonna be really fascinating to see what they do end up doing. So I had planned on playing Fiora this turn, but withdrawing the War, or sorry, withdrawing the Black Bright Seal Protector to go along with the War Shafts, you get to just double spell, and you know I'd rather just double spell. Uh, the War Shafts will help pump up the Protege to get it to two health. Want to get it above, make it rain. Attacking here does allow allows them to have Saboteur block the Bright Seal Protector so that I don't have a 3 power thing for uh, the Precious Pet. Alright, so that's going to take out my barrier. Yes, yeah, so that takes out the barrier. Uh, eight. About to go to seven. Basically, that draw kills their precious pet, and you know, get some damage on misfortune that we wouldn't have had otherwise. I'm playing the dragon over Garen. Usually, we want to play Garen, but we got a challenge. We got to kill these things that they have. Usually, I'll be playing Garen, though, of course. So my plan is Concerted Strike, Kill Jack. That's my plan. So that's going to get the other two damage in now also with the Sleep of the Fishes, but it will kill Jack. Oh, come on. They put a three power one drop into play? Come on. I didn't have a single thing to play on turn two or turn one. You know, it's like they had an awesome hand with three one drops and I didn't I couldn't play anything until turn three. That's going to be the difference. So let's mulligan everything again. Let's Again, we're playing against an aggro deck. We need to find cheaper units. We got one one-drop, I guess. Okay. Protege is a good one. That'll help out. Devotion to battle. So I have, I have 11 one and two drops in this deck. So I'm not, like, super heavy on those. Um, 
But that's still, you know, over one out of four cards. So you'd hope to, especially with mulliganing, you'd hope to find some. Not too bad, it's just our, our one drops traded, but my one drop dealt two damage to them or three damage to them. Who does not know the name Laurent? I'll write my own story. First time drawing a pill cascade. And it was good because pill cascade's very good. Yeah, I mean, I guess it is Bannerman. Other option is just like Tracker and then save three mana and next turn Bannerman um, and have the extra mana for like single combat and cards like that. They had a lot of their. One and two drops, double warships, double bright steel protector. Oh. Let's go Fiora with single combat. Yeah, GG's. So even though they had all those two drops, larger challengers are great against two drops. And so we were able to get larger challengers down on the board fast enough. Turning it around. Playing against more scouts. Usually I like playing against scouts with these Demacia decks because we're just a little bit larger than they are. Again, we need cheaper units. I like all of these spells. Like All these spells are very good. I'm going to try keeping one Ranger's Resolve. Uh, can we get one of our 11 one and two mana cards, though? The units. Last time we mulliganed three cards. Didn't find one. Find one here. Nope. I mean, I'm playing those cards, Tracker and Warshavs. I would like to see them. Fortune favors the bold. Hand to the face. Bad. Okay, so I could just let these trade. No, so I was saying I could just let them trade and have my own Fiora, but no, I think I play... So if I, if I play Ranger's Resolve, then my Fiora goes down to one health. But then I can play, like, Bannerman next turn. Hmm. I think I just let these trade. Just get new Fiora in here. That would keep Fiora alive. I wouldn't have to use a spell. Repost is awesome. I need to. I need to be playing more Repost. Repost is pretty awesome. Feels like we're just losing this. Like, especially if they have like a petty officer or something. We're probably just gonna be losing this. We fight for those who cannot. This is again us just getting behind, not having our one drops or two drops at all. I think these aggro matchups are usually good for us. Let's 
So it looks like we're going to go, after the, the dragon matchup, looks like we're going to be going one and two against aggro decks that I think are usually good matchups, but we just, our two losses, we just didn't have any any of our 11, one or two mana cards by turn two. We saw nine out of our 40 cards and couldn't hit one of those 11. Yeah, down to one. It's not going to be easy. Stay resolute. The wood can't fight back, but I can. Smell that? To cook it. I'll be damned. Well, some disappointing games. But I'm I'm happy to keep playing the Scouts deck. I think this is again, I think this is a good matchup. Um Yeah, I think the one back to back is good, but I I wouldn't mind it if it's a second repost either. Repost is awesome. Um Yeah, I mean I think it's good. I also think back to back is good. Or sorry, repose is good. I could see with how my hand looks, I could see not playing the Solari Soldier this turn and trying to play like trying to play it on turn three as a blocker. Being the more important thing. I could see that. To cook it. I've got your back. I'm playing these same cards. I'm playing Fleet Feather Tracker, War Chefs, and Bright Steel Protector, but they my opponents just always have them. And I don't at all. I mean I'm playing those same cards. Need to keep the body in play for my bannerman. Alright, well I learned I'm not going to not going to attack in and let them repost and that kind of stuff. They they want to pass with their with all their open mana, I am going to let them pass. Now I really wish I could play Bannerman and have one of these things, and this is where having repost would, would be a lot better than the back to back, because we would be able to go Bannerman and Repost. Um so yeah, if I want to keep up my spells, I don't get to actually play anything. Uh, I don't think our deck is too spell heavy. I mean, we have we have thirteen. Um, I think that is about the max that you want to be. I think you want to be between eleven and thirteen, or I guess maybe ten, between ten and thirteen. I don't think you, I don't think you want to be less than ten. Don't think you want to be more than thirteen. But I, I like that range, the ten to thirteen range. The good guys, but not that good. They're not good at all. I'm just gonna be playing back to back this turn. Head to the face. Fresh out of mercy. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Can you stomach this?
And Pill Cascade's really good. We haven't really had Pill Cascade, but it is really good. The one time we had Pill Cascade, didn't have any units for it. Love ya. Well, that's not bad. Got a single combat out of their hand also. That's not bad. My heart and sword for the mossing. My shield is yours. I would not necessarily say that we're just an aggro deck. I would say this is much more of a mid-range deck than an aggro deck. Aggro deck would play is like the scouts deck where you play a lot more one drops. I'm going, you know, bigger with more removal and things like that. I just gotta hope they don't have a single combat, I think. Because I don't I don't think I just play one and then wait to see if they have single combat and have another concerted strike, because then they get all this attacking in. This means we're going down to one. Feel the but hopefully they're out of Mega Rains. They played three Mega Rains, but I think two of them were Misfortune Mega Rains. Well, that was a bad pump. They should definitely be pumping up the Cythria. So now we go to two. That was a, that was a bad Warchef's attack. Fiora allows me to keep Concerted Strike available. Genevieve Elmhart, of course, is awesome in all Genevieve Elmhart -y. Um, I think we gotta play the Genevieve Elmhart. Should be able to be double removal. In case, because in case they have, like, like if I go Fiora and they, they drew Petty Officer, and then, then even though I could kill one of their things, they could just have, have Lethal coming back. Alright, so still able to pull that one out. Um, but yeah, our, our deck definitely starts with those... You know, those ones and twos, it's a lot better whenever we have Tracker, War Chefs, those kind of cards. Like, that's that's what you want to be looking for in this deck whenever you're mulliganing, having those kind of things. And then, you know, either a Fiora or Protégé on three. And the deck looks a lot better. Like, those are those are the cards that if you don't have those, you you start mulliganing. But, I mean, the the, the deck's going to be winning in combat. Combat's going to be really important, and that's why, that's why I do like the Pale Cascade. You start with those, and, and the, the fact that Pale Cascade replaces itself... Um, it's just really good because it can it can keep one of your units alive in combat and replace itself so you can continue to dig for more stuff but yeah so I, I still I like I like the list I think that um, I think the first I mean the first game I messed up two concerted strikes bad it that very possibly could have been a win with Fiora but I'm like we killed four things with Fiora but I only had it two things because I messed up the concerted strike twice so that's my fault, and then game, and then our other two losses were against uh, two aggro decks where, you know, we saw nine cards. Let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we saw nine cards by turn two because we mulliganed three cards each time. So we saw like seven cards, and then two more with drawing on turn one and turn two. And out of those nine cards, we saw zero of our 11 one or two mana cards units with Fleet Feather Tracker, the Solari Soldier, um, the War Chefs, and the Bright Steel Protector. And so, uh, you know, we were 0 for 11, or, you know, like 0 for 9 with finding those 11 out of 40 cards. Um, so that, that, was, that was our other two losses. 
Radiant Guardian does help you against aggro, but I think overall, I think this deck is well positioned against aggro as long as you can at least play something on turn one or turn two. Uh, but I, I really like having um, Garen, Screeching Dragon, like that kind of stuff for, for your other matchups. The back to back could be a repost. I mean, there's going to be times where repost would, would be better. There'll be times where back to back would be better helping out multiple allies. It's, it's tough to say. I, I mean, I, I kind of like, that's why I kind of like having one in one because you can have, um, you know, you can have back to back when you need it, maybe, or you have repost when you need it. Like you at least have access to a back to back in the deck. The back to back was pretty good. That very last game that we won, it, it helped save two things for us. Um, and we sometimes have more than just the one repost because if we have a Fiora in play and another Fiora in hand, that is Fiora's champion spell. So even though we only have one actual repost in the deck because of Fiora, sometimes we'll, act, we'll have more repost. All right, but there we go. So that's Fiora Garen. If those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave any comments as well. I would always appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.